Which of the following expressions is equivalent to 16x to the fourth? Alright, so if we have 64x to the sixth, all of that to the two thirds, what that really means is we have 64 to the two thirds and x6 to the two thirds. Okay, so we get rid of one of the threes from here. We have x to the fourth. Okay. <coughs> okay, so 64 is 8 times 8. All to the two thirds. This one third power means cubed root. The cubed root of 8 is 2, so we have 2 times 2 squared, which is going to be 4 times 4 is 16. 16x 16 fourth, which is this one. So this one is correct. Okay, so now we have. 1 over 2x all to the minus 4. So let's get rid of this minus here to make it 2x to the 4. Okay, so x to the 4th does match. So let's see if 2 to the 4th is 16. So here we really have 4 squared, right? Because if we do 2 times 2, we can get rid of one of the... Um, I'm overcomplicating it. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, those two together is 16. 16 x to the 4th also is good to go here. And then here for this last one, x squared over 16 x to the minus 1. So if we bring this x up to the top, we're going to end up with x squared times x, because we're just getting rid of the negative, it becomes positive up here. We have x cubed, which already doesn't match. Plus, we also still have the over 16, and we don't have a way to bring it up to the top. Um, because remember, there's no parentheses here, so the minus 1 here does not apply to the 16, which means we have 1 and 2 only, which means this answer. In April of 04, D dogs and C cats live in an animal shelter. If four cats arrive at the shelter in May, the next month, and the ratio of dogs to cat remains unchanged, in terms of C and D, how many arrived, how many dogs arrived at the shelter in May of 04? Okay, so if we have the ratio of dogs to cats in April, is equal to the ratio of dogs to cats in May, which cats here is going to be however many cats you had before, plus four, okay, plus, and then here, dogs plus some number, right, to keep it equal. And so we cross multiply to, well, what we want to do is solve for this value x here. Okay, so if we have, we cross multiply, we have d c plus 4 equals c d plus x. Right? We want to get x here by itself. So what we'll do here is c d plus c x, okay, cd plus 4d, those are still equal. If we then subtract this guy, that eliminates him. So we then have 4d equals cx to get x by himself again. We divide both sides by c, or d divided by c is the number of
dogs that arrived, which makes this here the answer. All right, so A, the absolute value of A is somewhere between 2 and 6. The absolute value of B is somewhere between 3 and 6. Which of the following must be true? A greater than B. Well, if A is 2, then, and B is 3, which is possible, or 2 and a half and 3, then this is not true. Conversely, if B is equal to 3 and a half and A is equal to 5, then this here is not true. This one here could be either negative or positive. B can be either negative or positive. Okay, so if the, one of them is negative and the other is positive, that makes AB be negative, which makes this one here not true because it's saying that it's positive. A and B are both less than six. If you multiply them together, A is something bigger than two and B is something um, bigger than 3, or at least the absolute value. So that means that A times B has to be something bigger than 6. Okay, It could be 5, it could be um, 7, but then that makes it bigger than 6. So really, we are left with this answer. And then here again, we can disprove it. A is 2.5, B is 3.5. If you add those together, two and a half and three and a half, you end up with six, which is certainly not greater than 36. When each side of the square is lengthened by four inches, the area of the square is increased by 112. What's the length in inches of the original square? All right, we have some square. We have x plus four. Well, we have the first one here, and then we have a slightly bigger one, x plus four. 4 and x plus 4. Okay, so the area of the first one is going to be x squared. The area of the second one is x plus 4 squared. Okay, but the area is in increased by 112, so x plus 112 equals this. Okay, so if we multiply this out, we have x squared plus 8x plus 16, x squared plus 112, x squareds here cancel, okay, so we have 112 minus 16 equals 8x, we subtract the 16 out here, we have 6, 9 equals 8x. If we divide both sides by 8, we 12 times 8 is 96, so x is 12. All of this here simplified is what? Alright, so minus 4x for y minus 3, all to the minus 3. Okay, so let's get rid of the minus 3 here. So we have minus 4, right, so if this is negative, so we're doing it all, uh, uh, this will be 1 over, okay, times 1 over x to the 12th times y, because here we have negative, and negative makes positive, so it stays up top, y to the 9th. Okay, so we have y to the 9th over minus uh, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4, 6 times 4 is 24, times 4 is 64. Okay, so we have over 64, minus 64, x to the 12th is this one right here.
if the function h is defined by ax squared plus bx plus c, a and b are both negative, right? So we have negative something x squared, okay? We have minus, no, plus bx minus c, right? So we'll just make them all be positive coefficients, and that way we can kind of see uh, what's going on, all right? So here we have a a square. We have a square, which means that we have kind of this uh, parabolic shape here. At x equals zero, these two both drop out, and so um, at x, or at the um, one of the extremes, the uh, the curve will be at minus c, so it'll be at a negative number somewhere, which means it has to be this one or this one here, at some at some number, x squared is going to be is going to overrule um, this guy here. This one here is squared. This one here is uh, to the first power. So that means that for some value of x, x squared is going to be greater than b. So it overpowers whatever uh, b x might be. So even if your b coefficient here is big. Um, and a is small, eventually x will still overrule, um, will still outshine what this guy here is doing. We have a negative here, which makes it a negative curve, which makes b the answer.